Okay, so Unity 2022.3 was released and they also have a Linux build. Now, Unity 2021 was good. I enjoyed using it. However, the current version 2022.3.2 has issues. And uh, again, this is on Wayland and on KDE. I do not know how this will appear on GNOME or any other any other desktop environment or window manager. So please keep that in mind. So there are issues. And if you wish to use this on Linux, just uh, make sure that, you know, you basically know about these issues. So in case you didn't know, I also use Windows because it's really necessary. Some, some of the tools that I require simply do not work on, on Linux. So what we're going to do is we're going to just create a test app for Linux. Okay. And I'm just going to use 2D core uh, as this is what I usually do 2D games or okay, let's in fact, let's go for 3D core. Why not? It'll take a take a short amount of time. Another thing that you may notice is that this uh, the Unity Hub is, appears a little bit big. This is because I have a custom script for this. Um, the current resolution of my monitor is 1440p and Unity does not have the UI scale setting that Windows has. I do not know why, probably because Unity technologies do not want to invest a lot on the Linux build. So that's just a guess. So I've used uh, something called, I believe it's called GDK underscore scale. And I have a custom script which opens Unity. So things will appear slightly bigger for you. They might appear smaller. Even on Windows, when I use it, I basically have everything big. I have it at 150%. So right now, what you'll see in front of you will be Unity at 150% scale, even on Linux. And I actually have a video about this. So I'm going to basically uh, continue this video after this is loaded. Oh, another thing too, on Windows, this window that you see open in front of you, it is kind of embedded inside of the splash over here. So on Windows, it appears slightly different. Uh, over here, this is a window which I can drag. On Windows, it's not there. It's like embedded in into the splash screen. This is further proof that probably the Unity devs, they uh, keep maintaining the Linux build isn't really a priority. Okay, so right now, this is Wayland, and uh, you'll see a few things immediately, is that when I click Add Component, this is going to open up in the middle. Now, this is a special setting that I have inside of the application, inside of the KDE application settings, which is over here configure special application settings. The reason why I have this in the middle is because I'm using three monitors. So if I click add component, sometimes it would open up on the incorrect monitor or it would open up over here on this side. So there are a few issues. The first issue that you'll probably be able to see immediately is that if I create a prefab, it takes a while for it to open. It doesn't open immediately. So if I just create, a, create an empty uh, prefab example, and if I open and if I have another child over here to so create empty uh, prefab child, prefab child, and just call this one and just duplicate all of these like this and close this. And if I drag and drop this into a prefabs folder, another thing that you may notice is it noticed right now is that if i right click and uh create a folder it takes a while it stutters a bit before it uh before it actually reacts so now i have a prefab example you can see that there is a noticeable lag i'm not sure whether you can see this on video but there is a noticeable lag when i open and close the prefab this is a problem on linux it's not a problem on windows Another problem is that if I click open containing folder, nothing happens. This wasn't an issue in 2021. That version, this wasn't an issue. So open containing folder would work properly. 
Another issue is that I have to use, if I go to preferences and external tools, I'm actually using, oh, this is incorrect actually. Mm, yeah, this is incorrect. So over here, this is wrong. Let me tell you why. If you take a look at one of my videos, I believe I posted a while back, the Android NDK installed with Unity, this doesn't work at the moment. This does not work. If I try to create an Android build, this will not work. This is because the NDK that is shipped with Unity for Linux has a problem. They are not shipping the binaries properly. They turn into text files. So on Unity, if you're using it on Linux, you have to manually install the NDK separately and then point the Android NDK, this setting, I apologize, this setting, the Android NDK installed with Unity, you have to uncheck this and then you have to browse to the location of the NDK. Now I have a video about this. So the current NDK that is shipped with Unity, it doesn't work for Linux. It works for Windows perfectly, but it doesn't work for Linux. This is another issue that I found. So there are a few other issues like let's it happens sometimes that if I'm like um, navigating the hierarchy for some reason the assets also get selected this happens sometimes I do not know why this uh, why this happens uh, another thing is that if I have a window like the like any window uh, or the inspector on another screen I cannot drag and drop the the prefab or any of the game objects into the inspector. I cannot show that to you, but if the, if I had a script over here, and if I drag and drop the inspector on another screen, and if I try to drag and drop this prefab as a reference into that script, it doesn't work. For some reason, multi-monitor support is not really good, especially for Wayland. On X11, I tried it as well. It didn't work on X11 either, but on Wayland, it's terrible. So that's one thing that you should know. Another thing is that sometimes if you lock an item and you unlock it, and if you go to, let's say, directional light, this locked item will basically be the same. So you can see that if I'm selecting directional light right now, of course it doesn't change, the inspector doesn't change because I've locked it. But if I unlock it, sometimes this doesn't work. Sometimes the lock system breaks in unity i do not know why so these are the issues that i found so far right now i recommend using windows 10 for your uh, unity game development i don't think that 2022 is ready for linux right now when it is i'm going to update you guys